Hello, I'm Alice from Alice Godfrey Nutrition and these are the bite-sized videos that I'm doing for Thyroid UK and this one is on vitamin D and the thyroid. So vitamin D is not only important for bones as that's what people thought its only purpose was for a long time um, but it's now known to be a really important immune modulator and as, hypothyroid, as most hypothyroidism in the UK is autoimmune this is really really important um, and so what I would always recommend is to make sure that you have optimal levels which I'll come on to in a bit. Um, in studies it's more likely you're more likely to have thyroid antibodies if you are severely deficient in vitamin D um, so that's quite interesting and studies also show that most people with autoimmune thyroid disease can't process vitamin D as well so they probably need to have more of it um, to maintain good health and of course in the UK you know we sometimes get a bit of sun in the summer but we don't get it all year round and even the government actually recommends that we take a supplement every day. So Having said that thyroid, if you have hypothyroidism, you're more likely to need more. I would always recommend that you're in the normal to the high range um, if you get tested. We can't get enough um, from food. And as I said, we can't really get enough from sun either. If you do want to think about getting it from your food, then good places to get it are wild salmon and cod liver oil. Um, but supplementing all the way around is recommended. So um, what kind of dosage should you buy? You should be buying vitamin D3, not D2, and it should be at least three to 4,000 IU. Um, the best way though is to test, and I would always recommend that. I'm not really recommending taking that amount without testing first, because it is dangerous to have too much. Um, and you can do that at your GP, but if they won't do that, then you can do it quite easily online. You can send off for a kit. There's a company called Better You, which do it, but there are lots of other companies as well. Um, and then when you get your results, you ideally want to be in the 60 to 80 nanograms per litre range for, um, opt for good thyroid receptor and immune system function. So that's 60 to 80 nanograms per litre. Of course, if your hypothyroidism is not autoimmune, it's still really important to have good levels of, of vitamin D. Um, they don't necessarily have to be in the higher range, but I would recommend them to be in the centre of the normal range so that and they're not kind of, you know, drifting off towards the bottom. Um, it's important for all immunity, not just immu not just autoimmunity. So I'm Alice Godfrey um, and you can find me at Alice Godfrey Nutrition on Instagram and Facebook. And I have a Facebook group called Get More Energy uh, Thyroid Support for Tired Women. So thanks for watching. See you soon.